So you were born in Brooklyn, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like myself. Yep. But raised in Queensbridge. Yes, indeed. So much that you were associated with Queensbridge, the 41st side of things. Yes. How did you get from Brooklyn to Queens? I grew up in the hood. You know, we grew up in the same area, but, you know, then I moved to the hood. I, whoa, why am I even speaking like this? I don't, I don't usually speak like this. This is, this is my usual voice, you know, but for some reason, when I'm just looking across here, looking at you, I feel like there's a connection that, like, I've known you forever but we, we, we've we never met. Um, I was put up for adoption. There's not much I know about my biological family other than my mother's name is Brenda. I have a successful family. I've got two brothers I know for sure. Um, one brother is like pretty much a fed, you know, uh, on social media. He takes people's pages down when they're acting up. Naughty, naughty. You know, another brother who is very successful in the hip hop entertainment industry and he's known to be the dopest hype man you could ever find you know hyping up people like rock him um hyping up lauren hill if you will and it's incredible because that's what i aspire to be you know i'm really struggling with this this whole voice thing that keeps happening i don't know why but that being said i'm i'm just glad to be on this interview with you um and I grew up in the hood because I didn't look like everybody else in our family. And that really hurts. You know? No doubt. For Queensbridge, that might be the most famous projects of all time. So largest projects in America. Mm -hmm. um, what were the highs and lows of living and growing up in Queensbridge? In Queensbridge projects was like a wake up call. My family don't want me obviously because I don't look like none of them. And then I come over to Queensbridge Projects and they said, I I don't fit in. You know, my my image seems to stand out like a sore thumb. So what am I supposed to do? You know, but I feel comfortable here. You know, this, this is, I don't know. It almost feels like family, you know. Um, but just bear with me. It's crazy you say that because the projects, when they first built, were designed for better living. Right. For white people across the country. <laughs> um, but then, you know, you had, of course, you know, white flight uh, when black people started getting a little bit of money and black people started moving in projects and white people lead a project. And then once black, once the projects in the country become black, then we don't have the resources anymore. Right. 